Welcome back to Rough Diamond Recipes. Today's recipe is FBCs, or you can call them pompadoms if you like. I don't know if the term FBCs is used elsewhere in the country, but if you come from the Welsh Valleys like me, you know what an FBC is. So it will come as no surprise to you my Saturday night mantra was chicken madras, half and half, pint of cobra and four FBCs. Anyway, on with the cooking. And the first thing you do for that is sieve the dry ingredients into a bowl. Next you add 2 tablespoons of olive oil to the bowl, followed by a splash of water. Mix in well until you get a nice stiff dough. And you should have something that looks like this. We're dividing the dough into two halves because we're making two sorts of FBCs, plain and chilli. So the next thing you do is add the chilli and seeds to half the dough and mix in well. Then divide each portion of dough into four pieces, roll into a ball because it makes it easier to roll out, then on a floured surface use a rolling pin and roll into pompadour shapes. I said you can use a rolling pin to roll this out, but you can use a spare wheel from a Ford Capri if it makes you happy. Just thinking, Ford Capris, half and half, FBCs, all I need now is a Weibo Peronde to play the Conway and Abadea and I'll be 17 again. When you've rolled out all your FBCs, lay on a flat surface and allow it to dry for a good 10 or 15 minutes. Then put enough oil in a pan to shallow fry, bring up to temperature. I take it you know how to test if the oil is hot enough. And when the oil is hot enough, add the FBCs one at a time, cooking on each side for about 5 to 6 seconds. And simply repeat until all the FBCs are cooked. But what do they taste like, I hear you ask? Are they nice and crispy? Well, I'll tell you. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh, yeah, the seed one's nice. Very spicy. Pass me that homemade mango chutney. We do hope you enjoyed this recipe and my trip down memory lane. Hopefully we'll see you soon in the next one. Bye for now.